Good afternoon. The, the fact is, is that uh, it was a resolution of the House and not some legislation that has to go to the Senate or be signed by, uh, by the President. And it was a, for us to say, and by the way, in the most gentle way, you have no idea the provisions that some people wanted to have in that resolution. This was as benign. It condemned the words of the president, not the president, but the words of the president. And in doing so, it anchored itself in the words of Ronald Reagan. Uh, and so you would have thought that that benign approach might have appealed to them. Uh, but and when you say, were you surprised? Were you disappointed? My expectations are not great, but you always hope uh, that they might do the right thing and say that that language that the president used was not was beneath the dignity of the president, beneath the dignity of the people he was criticizing. And by the way, uh, we were offended that he spoke in such a way about members of Congress, but we're offended that he says that about people across the country all the time, go back where you came from. And that, it, by its definition, those words are racism. We have all the time in the battle of the budget and the rest in terms of how we invest. But we weren't saying that he was racist. We were saying that the words that he used were racist. So that was as gentle as it could be, considering the inappropriateness uh, and the disgusting nature of what the president said. So no, we... we uh, we did what our members wanted to do and had a very strong 100% uh, vote on it. Not a choice between him and your more progressive members. This fight has now dominated the conversation. With all the respect in the world for Mr. Green, he's a very prayerful person, and he cares very much about our Constitution and our country. So as I say, with all the respect in the world for him, uh, we have six committees that are working on uh, following the facts in terms of uh, any abuse of power obstruction of justice and the rest uh, that the president may have engaged in, uh, that is the serious path that we are on. Not that Mr. Green is not serious, but uh, we'll deal with that on the floor. Will you vote to table yes, it? Will you vote to table it? I don't know what we will do, but we will deal with it on the floor. No, I think we'll get rid of all this right now. We've done our, we did our, um, our resolution expeditiously. Uh, we'll deal with the, uh, uh, Mr. Green's uh, resolution, uh, but we do have to have a clear path. I do, uh, I do think that the president is trying to, uh, and we cannot, uh, and you cannot, and we cannot uh, uh, buy into his uh, fog that he wants to create over everything because he knows, we all know the argument that can be made against us in terms of our philosophy, in terms of our, our um, priorities and the rest. And the president knows the argument that could be made against him, and therefore he wants to distract from him. You have to give him credit. He's a great di uh, distractor, and that's, that's what this is about. So it is, let's just take it to a better place. Let's take it to a better place. America. The president wants to make America great again. We all do. What does that mean? What is America? So many times we've come together and we've talked about America, America as our ideals in the Constitution, an example to the world of uh, founding documents that rejected a monarch and, and put forth separation of powers, Article I, the legislative branch having that priority enlisting, and, and that is being under, uh, that's being dishonored by the President of the United States.